I'm here at Fox Day Stone with Martin and you're talking about Scarlet and in particular Dot and Dotty. So Dotty is a next generation compiler for Scarlet, is that right? That's right, yeah. So Dotty is a compiler we've been working on for almost four years now. Um, and uh, it started as essentially an, an experiment. What can we do better in compiler design and in essentially new ways to modeling types in the language? And now it's we're sort of on the final stretch to get out a release and really have developers use it in anger. Yeah. So what's your time scale for release? Uh, we want to come out this spring. So uh, we have uh, two Scala days, one in uh, Chicago in April and one in June in Copenhagen. And it's not quite clear yet which Scala days it will be. Hopefully it will be one of them. So. Brilliant. And it's, uh, it's based on something called DOT, isn't it? Uh, f like a fundamental principle that trims down some of the so it's, it's, it's going down to like the basic mathematical principles, is that right. right? So that's sort of the theory, you could say the theory behind it, that you say, well, when you want to study properties of programming languages, you have to simplify, simplify, simplify. And uh, Scala is a fairly uh, particular programming language in that it is really uh, tries to carve out a different way that is neither full object oriented nor functional, or rather is, is both. So it's essentially both object oriented and functional and doesn't exclude either side. And that it turns out to do a good job in actually understanding what this is. We need new foundations and that's what dot, dot is supposed to be. Oh, and dot, so Dotty is, is built around dot then. What, what are some of the uh, what are some of the features that you want in Dotty that you, you hope to improve on from previous Scala compilers? Right. So first it was essentially uh, and we tried to simplify to essentially have a smaller core in the compiler. So in the, the core of the compiler is a type checker. And uh, essentially there it's where typically you get often combinatorial explosion of complexity once you, you add a new feature and everything becomes twice as hard. So you want to minimize really radically and uh, theory helps us there because it tells us what we can model in terms of what other features. So that was that was a big, uh, a big uh, step. Uh, the other thing is that theory also helps us with laws. So for instance, in Scala, we have the so-called compound type. That's A with B, where A and B are types. And it turned out that with is actually uh, not, uh, well, we would like it to be commutative so that A with B is the same as B with A. But because in, in current Scala, with really is also reused for inheritance where we have a concept called linearization. So their order matters. And that caused us to uh, come up with this with operator that wasn't commutative. So now the theory told us that, well, there's actually another way to do it. And that's, we will follow that. And in, in Dotty, we will replace the width on types by an, an ampersand, which is meant to be true, true intersection. And there will be a union type operator, which is written by a bar to complement it. That's then the dual of the intersection. So do you see the uh, Scala language itself evolving as Dotty evolves? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so that's sort of the blueprint for Scala 3. And uh, it will be some years until we get there. So there will be for a while parallel releases. The Scala 2x series will continue and there will be a Dotty release series. And at some point, uh, Dotty will essentially take over and become Scala 3. Or so that's sort of the, the map that we currently have in our heads. And we'll see whether that comes true. Thank you.